all right people what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for another sunny v2 video and this is how planet fitness became hated by the world which i had no idea that was even the case i used to actually i know well, i'm gonna blow people's minds but i used to actually go to planet fitness <laughs> it didn't work obviously but i did used to go um quite a bit actually at least like maybe three or four times a week which you know i mean Sam was a, a big fat fuck back then. Then, yeah, I mean, three or four times a week is better than zero times a week. Anyway, now now I do zero times a week. I weigh way less now than I did when I was at Planet Fitness. So, I don't know what happened there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Anyway, link in the description. Go check it out yourself, of course. Uh, I like that Sunny V2 is doing more stuff like this. You know, it's not just like about a YouTuber or about a particular person. Now we're just going to get straight to fucking companies, you know? Anyway. So, let's get to it. Three, two, one, and play. To understand the overwhelming hatred for Planet Fitness, oh, you first wait, need wait, to wait, understand... Wait, 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 wait. What? The spot at... What? Yo, can you get your fucking taint out of my face? Overwhelming hatred for... No being awesome, no being strong, no doing real exercises, no exhaling? What the fuck? No exhaling? What am I supposed to do? Planet Fitness. Keep it in the you entire time. Understand. Planet Fitness. We don't have leg machines. We have recliners so you can watch movies and eat free pizza. Uh, meanwhile, at Planet Fitness, oh, what a workout. Business. I'm going to be near a woman's workout. This model, Planet Fitness was created with the goal of of having a non-competitive culture opposite to that yeah. of something like okay. Gold's Gym where bodybuilding is glorified. They have the, the hunk alert or whatever. Everything in Planet or, Fitness or is catered whatever. towards the less experienced yeah, beginner. Yeah. And on the surface, they have that like, thing where like if you make too much noise it'll go, it'll like actual like wee 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 or whatever the fuck. I'm like, what the fuck? That fitness looked like a fairly positive place. However, as we look into the methods they use to achieve this beginner-friendly image, Ooh, you'll start yeah. to understand why their approach also receives an insane amount I've, of... None of my plan... I've, I've been to three plan fitness because we kept... We, we had the membership thing that we can bounce between any of them. Um, and we have a bunch of them near us. So we used to go to a lot of different ones. So is like, I don't understand... Oh. I've, none of those, none of them have I've ever seen a piece of food in ever. This image posted to the gym yeah. memes Facebook page shows a note attached to a Planet Please Fitness leg press are, reading: yeah, "We do yeah, not yeah. cater to bodybuilders or heavyweight lifters. Please help us keep our non-intimidating environment by loading only four weight plates on each side." With this what? note showing that not Fuck only are Planet are. Fitness trying to cater to beginners, but they're also trying to repel anyone who might consider themselves an intermediate or advanced lifter. In addition to requesting that members only do. use a maximum for of four plates on the leg press, shitty ass Planet weights. Fitness gyms also feature no squat rack, no deadlifting area and no bench press with the smith machine being the only alternative for those looking to perform these exercises or if you're desperate enough you can evidently use the machine where you'd usually do dips the gym requests that members refrain from doing t-rows overhead presses clean and jerks and deadlifts and even request clean and jerks oh no 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 I, I was waiting until you said I couldn't do clean and jerks. Fuck you. Do supersets, which is achieved in part by maxing out their dumbbells at 75 pounds or 34 kilos, with this number being an even lower 60 pounds or 27 kilos, depending on which franchise you go to. Right. As an alternative, Planet Fitness gyms are instead filled with excessive amounts yeah. of cardio equipment. A lot of cardio, with a yeah. goal of Dude, my, members mine to got rid of, like, before we, I, I stopped going there, like, a few years ago, they got rid of so many fucking so many regular exercise like fucking you know and got and put way more cardio avoid the weight training area altogether so basically planet fitness doesn't allow you to actually get stronger the only gym that doesn't like people going to the gym i went to planet fitness as a joke with one of my friends because your first day you get free to test out and i was deadlifting 360 on the smith machine and i put pads underneath the weight so it wouldn't slam and the manager kicked me out because i was noticeably stronger than everyone else and creating an intimidating atmosphere planet fitness having a problem with people who <laughs> you should have picked them up and folded them on your knees something that can <laughs> also be observed in countless different youtube videos what? I wasn't there a week, and I was told, can you intimidate the other patrons, and uh, I don't like your type here. For example, four Looks like Brock Lesnar mixed with butter bean. How the fuck did Tell that me, happen? Can you intimidate the other patrons, and uh, we don't like your type here. For example, four times world's strongest man, Brian Shaw, was kicked out of Planet Fitness whilst making a fairly relaxed YouTube video, with this piece of content pairing another title to Planet Fitness cancelled by membership after 500 pound bench press, cementing their dislike for those who go to the gym to push their They're limits. not being annoying. As an extra a measure to avoid 
intensity. I the lunk alarm. That's what it's called. Hunk, lunk, whatever. Lunk like, makes sense. Hunk wouldn't. Uh, be. They wouldn't call it a hunk. Fitness also has their notorious lunk alarm, which yeah. can be triggered by Planet Fitness staff anytime uh, you see a member working out oh, too intensely. Oh, I thought if you're like making really loud noises, it goes off. Oh shit, my vest popped up. I keep forgetting it pops up around this time. <laughs> Lunk alarm is actually pretty goaded. If it goes off, it means that you're making gains, and the staff is just making sure that everyone knows that you're built different. But while this person managed to frame the lunk alarm as beneficial, on a wider scale, the concept has been. Well, I think that was supposed to be a joke. Like, it's not actually made for that reason, but. Criticized pretty damn heavily. The alarms are set to trigger when they detect muscles actually contracting. Planet Fitness, you're being too loud. Also, Planet Fitness, use a tornado warning sign to replace the noise of normal gym activities. <laughs> right. This alarm is infinitely more disruptive than the clanking of weights or grunts of strain lifters it's also startling which can cause severe injuries to anyone under load and in yeah. addition to simply having the lunk alarm yeah what if you're just doing your exercise and you hear that and you go oh and then fucking thing falls on your neck and you're dead and now you're a ghost and then you haunt the place and then they make a movie by then they get zach baggins in here and he's like yo come at me bro this is all things that could happen sorry i know i'm pausing a lot i don't give a fuck Describing ridiculous situations <laughs> during which the alarm has been sounded. I'm sorry, I, don't I accidentally a fuck. dropped my drink off the treadmill and the lunk alarm went off. I got kicked out. What? The lunk alarm goes off if you accidentally drop a pen. Alright, guys, I'm gonna find a fitness. Watch how ridiculous this is. No. But to be fair to Planet Fitness, both gym members and that this can't be real. staff themselves have often stated in videos and comments that the lunk alarm is rarely ever used. Yes, there is a lunk alarm. I've never heard it go off I've myself. I've never even heard it go off. I've worked at two different Planet Fitness locations, and we never once sounded the lunk alarm on people for anything. I think it depends on the individual locations, whether they're franchise or not. We were told that we weren't allowed right. to use it, that it was more of a novelty item. I went to Planet Fitness for six months and never heard the alarm. I think I was there for longer than I never heard it. Treat the alarm as a in sign of the three I want manager. To. If that alarm sounds, it's time to find another gym. Mm -hmm. As a person who works at Planet Fitness, we never set the lunk alarm off. I we guess it just matters. We don't pull it because there's no purpose to, like, you know, on the flip side, too. I guess it just matters on who's running, uh, who's like the manager, who's who's working there. I guess if it, it probably, if you're a piece of shit, then you'll probably sound it every time someone goes, Ugh. someone drinks a water bottle too fucking loud. <laughs> we like to have fun. Sometimes, as soon as we just hear anything, boom, we just pull it. And it's different when your manager's there and when your manager's not there. However, while the alarm can be dismissed okay. as somewhat of a meme, drinking out of a gallon water jug as well as their dress code are both something that Planet Fitness does take extremely seriously. In the previously mentioned video where you Brian drink gets water? kicked out of Planet Fitness, a sign can be seen which reads, Dress Code, to maintain our no gym intimidation <laughs> environment. Gym intimidation? Fuck you, I'll put your head through this goddamn wall. Please no jeans, boots, sandals, or string tank tops, thank you. Other banned items of clothing include do-rags, caps, bandanas, and judging from internet anecdotes, this dress code is definitely definitely the next reason behind why the gym is so hated. I used to have a Planet Fitness membership and on multiple occasions they asked me to go home and change my gym outfit. What the fuck was this? School? What the fuck? As revealing, I was wearing a tank top and shorts lol, or they would give me one of those hideous white t-shirts with their logo to cover myself up. In this video titled Planet Fitness Fail, Why I Cancelled My Membership, the girl explains that she was confronted by staff for simply having a one gallon water bottle. One of the workers did a beeline for me one time. What the hell? She got a lot of dislikes. While I'm working out, interrupts my set and is like, oh, you can't have that gallon of water here. Whilst another member fuck? was denied entry altogether because his water bottle was too big to fit in their designated cup hole. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle and Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle will not fit into her cup holder. I Imagine talking about cup holder. Put on the ground. Drinking water and being healthy. For being a judgment-free facility, all they do is judge. judge and yeah. this is why their approach is so controversial. I, honestly, I, 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 don't, I don't even know if I can blame, what was her name, Ashley? I don't know. I, I have no idea. Um... Because fucking, it might be like, you have to enforce this. You have to enforce this. I'm like, I guess I have to. Then you can't have the border bottle. <laughs> Judgment free slogan is tied oh, to the villain. Main demographic beginners. But in order to achieve Bono, this branding, they have to term. be judgmental toward anyone who isn't a beginner, making their approach incredible. All right, how do people spell judgment? Do they spell it judge and then mint? Or do they put J-U-D-G like that and then mint? It always bother me. I always put, I don't put an E in between judgment.
So. Well, hypocritical. So no judgment, except you get to judge. That's right. We won't judge or criticize <laughs> right. you unless you're someone in shape in a gym. No judgment zone unless we are the ones judging. Planet Fitness, no judging. Also, Planet Fitness judges anyone who actually wants to work out properly, with this criticism also being bundled in with more sinister theories about why Planet Fitness fights tooth and nail in order what? to maintain their Wow, the, the trainer judgment. is like way skinnier than that fucking dude Rebranding. not that every trainer needs to be like fucking muscular boy but if you think about it the entire concept is an incredible idea by keeping the judgmental people away you only attract the insecure who pity themselves at the same time you keep away any serious lifter who could show what is possible therefore reassuring ah, this so half what they're doing yeah. is absolute peak performance the picture of roid raging testosterone monsters is planted into people's heads thus binding them even stronger to that gym financially speaking it's a masterpiece yeah it's, it's, it's genius honestly sean was right uh you keep you just keep people go stay there stay there in their own microcosm of of gym failure uh don't have anybody that shows what an actual gym should be like and then just keep the skinny little shitters that like to watch movies while using the uh the weight machines as uh, fucking leg rest there and just keep making money Perhaps this is a bit of a conspiracy theory, but it's also possible no, that it's that's probably it. Excellent. Planet Actually. Fitness's best interest to keep their members out of shape so they'll continue to pay for membership. On the first month, are those all signs that said out of order? This is best interest. Broken, yeah. They all say broken. What the fuck? Trist, to keep their members out of shape so they'll continue to pay for Jesus. membership. On the first Monday of every month, Planet Fitness hosts Pizza Monday, during which free pizza is given to members before, after, and even during their workouts. What? Then similarly, on the second Tuesday of every month, Planet Fitness has Bagel Tuesday following the same concept, but with free bagels. I, I, I don't remember that. I know I definitely went on Mondays. I don't remember that at all. Planet Fitness makes a pretty Free decent pizza? argument why they consider this to be acceptable, stating maybe I just got there too late. I'm no, glad. No. I, I'm glad I did. I'm like, oh man, all those calories are brought. Ooh, pizza! Nom, nom, nom. Website. It's okay to indulge in a treat every once in yeah, a while. That's fine, the yeah. truth is, one slice of pizza isn't going to destroy a month's worth of work in the gym, which is why Planet Fitness Pizza Monday and Bagel Tuesday only roll around once a month. Oh, Moderation okay. is key. Yet, as you oh, might expect, Monday, these I free junk food days have Maybe come I just, with even no, more I'm, public I'm sure it went there. I'm uh, doing like squats and deadlifts, and the smell of like a hundred pizzas yeah. is coming at me. It's just not right, Planet it's Fitness. Not, it's come not on, right. The pizza come on, man. Being in the gym, it's just not right. They don't. <laughs> Together. Maybe she was saying this while she was left that slide. It's not right. Um, um, oh, for us, good. <laughs> oh, God. Free salad. Rolls it up and fucking like shoves it in her pocket while leaving. <laughs> I can envision some fat fuck doing that. <laughs> Alright, it was me. I did it. <laughs> Roll it up, put it in my pocket. Roll it around, put it in her pocket. I, have a, I bring my jacket in. <laughs> <laughs> it's offer free i don't know protein shakes but pizza no planet fitness oh she did have a pizza is like having <laughs> uh, to be fair she probably grabbed it to show people like look i'm not fucking around pizza Wait, they even give you plates? I didn't even notice that. She had a plate. In meetings in a bar. Nothing like getting a good workout than enjoying a high calorie pizza afterwards. Ah. Hashtag gains. gains. It's actually a yeah. genius yeah. tactic. Gains. You go there yeah, to lose weight is. and get in shape. They give you pizza. You gain some weight. You yeah. have to go back, back to, to lose, lose that, that weight. weight. <laughs> <Keeps> <laughs> that gain weight yeah. It's actually brilliant. You know what? They're evil, but they're smart. Wait, yeah, so I I don't. Think, That's for sure. Is not actually wanting their members to lose weight might also explain some of the other things that you can get with your membership, such as their total body enhancement chamber, which sounding like a pile of infomercial garbage, apparently helps work muscle groups, firms and tones the body, as well as helps reduce stress. However, these no effort scam machines just reiterate what? the type of customers the these. Planet Fitness are generally are these going newer? after. I haven't been cheap ten dollar per month memberships are seemingly designed to appeal to people who will go once or twice, never turn up again, but also never can their membership because well nobody can be bothered to go into the gym to cancel it yeah, when it's only 33 in. cents per day what do i have to do to cancel this membership all you have to come into the location or else write a letter the gym where i stay write is 45 letter. minutes away from where i live at is those are the only two ways yes those are the only two ways Wait, why, have to why are we going to fucking Maybe she moved. Basically come in to cancel your membership. And judging from some of the videos on YouTube, it seems like this strategy is incredibly four effective. Years. I've given them $10 a month for four years. 
gave him four hundred and eighty dollars <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> oh man, can I have four hundred eighty dollars for nothing? I mean, I already do nothing. So. And I've never stepped foot inside the gym. Just to add a cherry never on top of the cake, if you do want to cancel your membership, there are then massive fees involved, as well as other small charges that force you to spend more money before you officially leave. Make sure you don't break your contract, because if you break your contract, then it's $150 to get out of it. I see that I still got a payment, a charge from Planet Fitness. Now, my membership is discontinued. Mm. Trying to get rid of gym memberships is basically trying to get rid of a boyfriend that won't go away or a nasty rash their business model yeah, is to know, sell memberships to people who don't go regularly think about it they can be ten which one am i talking about you figure it out for that one gym but if everyone goes then the place would be so busy it would either violate legal codes or be so packed you wouldn't be able to work out because everyone is using something and honestly it's hard to blame them businesses are created to make money and with over two thousand gyms God across the damn. globe planet fitness has East been extremely successful yet unfortunately look, at, look how many so there are i mean there are a lot in new york so <laughs> actually there's not that many in new york comparatively i guess there, there's so many oh my god the what the fuck? Planet fatness in the process <laughs> planet fatness. that's pretty good that was, a, that was a really good video actually not that he makes bad videos i'm just saying like about planet fitness i used to go but i don't give a fuck about them anymore ah! oh that was good anyway so there you go that is the planet fitness one uh why they became hated because they're shitters just cause, cause saved a lot of time just saying that they're shitters. There you go. See, that's why I should make these videos. <laughs> They'll be shorter than fucking and like a, you go. You can make my videos into gifs. That's how short they are. Anyway, I got. I, 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 I.